Welcome to the next episode. Last time, we didn't really do much. We actually just did a little bit. So, this needs nectar. How about we go get some? Last time, we didn't do much. We just kind of built armor and just kind of chillaxed. But as you might notice, I'm in a very different attire. Because last episode, I said I have something planned for this Tastes armor. Good. I have a big plan. And to do that plan, I want to get the sizzle protection stuff, which is being cooked right now. Uh, and I want to grab some uh, nectar. Because I would like to make some uh, spider sliders. Look at that. My god. That one I'm actually going to take because I actually do need bombardier stuff. Anyway. Any, uh, nectar? Might not be any nectar here because it's not much of a nectar providing area. But I do like to come here for nectar if I can. doesn't look like there's any nectar. Alright. Jump. Jump. I jump. Do I have my minty on? Yes, I do. Okay, good. So for this episode, I have something planned. So let us go do that plan. It is going to involve a very interesting, uh, well, area. And it's going to involve us going inside of it. Most people will do this early and will get fucked up. I being one of them. I tried doing this early and I tried my best with it, but it was really hard. And then I got some upgraded weapons and tried it, and I got pretty close, but I did have a little bit of trouble. So, there you go. Let's make the, uh, where is the other one? There you go, spider slider. It's only a tier 2, but it gives us crit hit chance, so increases our crit hit chance, which is really nice. Mm hmm. So, for this episode, let me go into my... Well, actually, hang on. Let's jump over this thing first. Uh, jump. And then we jump over it again. There you go. Let's go into our mutations. We won't need... We didn't have it on. We won't need this one, then. We'll need that one. So, I didn't notice the sizzle protection. You're like, wait a minute. Sizzle protection? Burn resist? Why does he want all this sizzle protection for? Is he going into the thing to get some charcoal or something well a little bit but not quite I will get a little bit of charcoal not gonna lie but I'm, my main goal is something a little different let's go over to the gnome because I do want to explore this area a little bit try to find some type of teeth if I can I thought I had a dandelion tuft but I didn't that's all right Just run past these guys, they don't mean nothing. Easy mode, boys. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's go up here. <sighs> A scabby nearby. And a wolf spider. Son of a bitch. Oh, he heard that. Okay, well. I'll just have a little bit of poison resistance then. Just another spider. I like how he like turned around to figure it out. I jumped right at him and he didn't notice. <laughs> he was like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a human. <laughs> Good luck, human. No one's gonna get that reference. Uh, nope. Yep. Over here. So somebody put a scabby on top of a thing. That's interesting. What's it called? Oh, oh, that's nice. That's interesting. I wonder who would do that. 
They probably found it and then put it right there so someone can find it. Maybe it was their scabby and they died. Who knows? That's actually scary to think about that Wendell Tully trusted his scabby so much, but they didn't know that like someone else could put a scabby on like someone who's not his friend, like that was going to help him. I just realized that they could have done that. keep drinking these fucking smoothies and I don't mean to. Again, hang on. Mm -mm, nah. -uh. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, fucking bullshit. Uh, we'll switch this out for this. There you go. Fucking hell. What's that X one about? Mama toxins. Oh right, the mama toxin venom thing is from the Apex Predator thing. I always forget. Jump up here. And now we can go over to the worst place imaginable, filled with sizzle. So we gotta go inside, we gotta make sure we don't die in the sizzle protection area. I'm actually curious, how much sizzle protection do I have? Feels like I'm being cooked. I can't take this heat. If I go in here. Interesting. Okay, if I go in in there, what happens? Ooh. I like that. That's a lot of sizzle protection. I like like that. That's good. Because before, I would get like instantly cooked even with a little bit of protection. first tier 3 armor just so happens to just be an environmental armor so it has like no purpose besides this and then you can't use it for anything else which is a little lame but it kind of makes sense let's go inside of this grill here I think I went in there for a tooth once but I can't remember was it this lifetime who knows Yeah, I think I think I went in here for the tooth that was in here and then I just ran out. I just used healing or whatever. Alright, cool. Now we go do the thing. So as you can see there's a tooth nearby, and I said I would get this tooth later, I believe. If I didn't, then I apologize, I'm dumb. But I did want to come back for this because if we go inside the bag, there are very hot charcoals in here. Some of them are not hot. Some of them are hot. So let's go this way. I believe this area is safe over here. If we get close to this... Boom. Flaming sword. If you touch this, you gotta defend against multiple larvas. Let us open up our mutations. I just realized it was a thing, which means I can get rid of that and put on Guard Dog. Because it technically is a defense mission. So as you can see, we, we take Sizzle very quickly. We have to back off a little bit. 
Let us They're breathe. Coming. There you go. So if we look around, there should be some like little holes going up. Bingo. I like how the music not only doesn't change, but also like... Oh, there you go. Ah, too hot, even for me. Got back up a bit, got to back up a bit, hang on. D, D heat, D heat, D heat, come on. I wish you could drink water and be heat faster, but you can't. I hate how they jump up here. Go over here real quick, be heat. <laughs> they just spawn in. Where? Oh. Oh, now, now the music wants to play. This right here is the Kolpana. It is a mission that you have to do. This was actually one of the earliest uh, weapons of Tier 3 that I actually saw, and I wanted it really badly uh, because it looked really cool. However, it is a sword, and, well, I'm a barbarian. Swords don't mix with us very well. However, I'm not going to lie. I do want to try it out a little bit. It is a spicy, which means that it's not very effective on a lot of things if we actually open up the data. A lot of things actually resist spicy, specifically because of this weapon, because it does so much damage. So a lot of creatures resist it, except for you. But yeah, because spicy is so commonly used, a lot of creatures resist spicy. And this sword is a part of the reason, because it's so good. <laughs> it's a sword. Yeah, do. It's no women crime, but... Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Okay. Uh, so there's raw science up there. I don't really care for that. Uh, what I do want to do is look at the crafting. I believe it takes like five bars or something like that. No, only two bars. Five coal chunks and ten gunk. That's actually not that bad. It's spicy and slashing. So if we actually look at the resistances, you might notice slashing is also one of the biggest resistances in the game. Yeah, this sword... This sword did a lot of damage <laughs> to the game. It basically told the developers, hey, maybe we shouldn't apply so many weaknesses. In fact, that actually explains why the infected broodmother turns all damage types into neutral because, well... 
This Coltana is slashing, so it turned it into a neutral damage, so it doesn't have to deal with it. That's actually kind of funny, because if all damage types are neutral to that one creature, it's because they know that they kind of fucked up with the, you know, difficulty in this game. Like, they made a lot of weapons a little too strong, specifically, you know, axes and fucking swords, apparently. So, the slashing is really good, because if you hit somebody with a sword, it lowers their attack speed and their, uh, their attack speed and their movement speed by, I believe, 20% or something like that. So it really lowers them down and makes them really easy to kill. Uh, so they made a lot of creatures immune to slashing. They made a lot of creatures resist spicy uh, as a punishment for the Coltana because the Coltana was, like, one of the most sought-after weapons. And it's so easy to get. Like, it's only gunk, coal, and fucking uh, spicy bars, which that means that it's the first weapon, technically, that you can get. I mean, kinda. I mean, you could technically get the uh, minty mace slash the salty mace pretty early, because the salty morning star is in the pond, which that isn't hard to get at all. But it doesn't do that much damage and it bleeds. But the mint mace, this is something that's a little busted, honestly, in my opinion, because it does so much damage and it does do a big bust attack. But it kind of doesn't do that much damage. I feel like it's better just to use. Better to use the Mother Club anyway. Like, the Mother Club is the fucking dominator of all damage types. Like, if you don't use the Mother Club, then clearly you've never played a Barbarian class. You've never played heavy damage. Fucking, this is, this is how we roll. We use this big ass club and beat the shit out of people. <laughs> it's how, how we do. It's how we do, Scoob. Right, let's go this way. Honestly, I, I'm feeling like making another Mother Club and making it Minty. Maybe even a neutral one that just does more damage and has the uh, side upgrade. I think the side upgrade is like final damage or something. I have no clue because I fucking made another club. So you know what? Here, we'll do it. Let's make one more club. I want to see what it would do. No, it does poison damage on final hit, and it does more damage in general. So if we go over to Minty, you can see it does the same amount of damage, but out of uh, freshness instead. <sighs> Fuck it. I think it's just better to use the other one, because I do get the Venom upgrade and stuff. I do love this weapon, I'm not going to lie, and I'm glad it was my first ever tier 9 weapon because I never had a tier 9 weapon yet so I'm glad that I got to do all that for once you know got to fucking have a powerhouse weapon but I would like to just go with the mother club and just stick with my guns uh, and then we need minty jewels which means we gotta kill those things so as you can see here we notice something new here I didn't put any uh rotten food in there that happened on its own so that right there is a growth muscle uh, veggie or whatever it's called muscle sprout the growth muscle sprout provides more muscle sprouts apparently I think it's like two more I can't remember yeah two more so technically you could get three per thing versus the one I really like that though However, I prefer just making it grow faster. But, you know, either way. Uh, sword. I mean, we have all this meat. Might as well use it a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. So instead of taking, you know, the three days or whatever, whatever amount it was, now it just takes a few days.
Perfect. Okay, and then we got the minties going. Uh, let's go get ourselves some jewels, shall we? Because honestly, it's it's not hard to get jewels. It's just I have to go get them now. I feel like if I go to that pipe again that was full of those scarabs, I think they will respawn. Because scarabs seem to respawn all the time. One second as I go get arrows, too. Because if they don't respawn, well, I know who I'm hunting down. <laughs> So I will go get a bunch of scarabs, and I'll just constantly just hunt them down. Uh, I think they survive a feather arrow, so let's just do... I thought I had splinter arrows. Thank you. I totally wanted that thing that I wanted. Thanks. There you go. And then put these away. Yeah. Uh, splinter arrow, nope. Splinter arrow, uh, nope. Splinter arrow, nope. There you go. Good grief. Okay, uh, and the things are already done, so let's just go get the minty mace, uh, replacement, sadly. Sorry, brother, but I'm not gonna lie. I do like the Mother Club. I like the Mother Club way better. I'm not gonna lie. It feels better. It has venom coating. Everything looks good from here. Uh, it's also a, just a bigger, batter mace. I do like final damage, though. I'm not gonna lie. Final bust is pretty fucking rad. I do like the final bust damage, but like... Yeah. Better just to stick with my guns. Now we have every mother club of every type. Because I like clubs and beating the shit out of things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get the jewels and if I don't have enough I'll just duplicate. I'm gonna max out the mother club and I'm gonna max out the salty, spicy, and sour, which I believe sour is level 8, level 8, level 8. Cool, so that means 5, 10, that's 15, and then 10, 10, 10, 30. Fuck, we need 30. 30 shiny metals, let's fucking do it boys. <laughs>